Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you something cool that you may have never used before. The randomize exit option and how you can use to animate this candle flame. So to start, let's see how the randomize works with a simple example. Here we have this ad board with this number and you can see that there are several animations here. This one is the idle which doesn't have any keys. Then there is the animation 1 with the number 1, the animation 2 with the number 2, and the animation 3. Ok, what we're going to do now is bring all these animations into the theme machine and connect them. Let's start with the idle and connect it to the entry. Now we bring the rest of the animations, the animation 1, the animation 2, and the animation 3, and a transition from the idle. Now we have everything connected. And as you can see, we don't have any conditions in these transitions. So the idea is to add the randomize exit option to the idle to trigger one of these animations randomly. So select the idle, and here you can find the randomized exit. Check this, and now you can see we have the different animations here. And this value here are the probability for each one. Now they are set to one, which means they all have the same probability. So now every time we press play, you can see that each animation is triggered randomly. Now, let's change these values and see what happens. What we're going to do is change the value of animation 3 to 2. And you can see that the animation 3 is triggered more frequently than the rest. And if we use 1, 2 and 4, you will see that the animation 2 and 3 trigger more frequently which animation 3 begin the one that triggers the most. Now let's put this into practice with this candle flame. Here you can see that I have a control to change the scale of the flame. I have used this control to create several animations with different scales. You can see in the animation 1 I have a few keys on the scale and you can see also that the animation duration is quite short. 10 frames. We don't need more since it will only take a moment for each flame chain. In the rest of the animations, you can see the different flame size. The idea is that with the randomized option, we can trigger this animation randomly, creating the flame effect. So, let's start by dragging the animations into the theme machine and connecting them. The first one is the animation 1, which I'm going to use as a link to jump to each one. Then the rest of the animations and create transitions from the animation one. The randomized option will trigger the different animation from animation one, but once each of these animation ends, the theme machine has to return to animation one, so the randomized option can trigger another animation. To do this, I'm going to create another transition in opposite direction for each of them. So, animation 1 will have the randomized exit option. And to have the theme machine return to animation 1 after playing each animation, what we're going to do is add 100% to the exit time option for each transition. Now, when you press play, you can see that the theme machine is randomly triggered animations but the flame animations looks abrupt. What we're going to do is add a duration and interpolation to the transitions, so each flame size blends when the animation changes. Now you can see that the blend is much smoother. Ok, what we're going to do now is check which animation has the longest flames, 
and give it more probabilities, creating a more energetic effect. You can play with these values to see the different effects. You can also use the different values for the transition duration or the interpolation curve. This will help you to find the effect you want. 